Hello, it's Marcus here from Tresham. I'm pleased to say we've got Lee from Mega in to see us. Nice Hi, to meet you, Lee. How are you good. doing, all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Great, Lee's gonna show us the new 1741 MFT and some of its applications. Basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at uh, setting up the RCD side of the uh, MFT. Amazing. Also, uh, look at a little little nugget in the, in the back of the uh, settings that we can show people as well. Amazing, so we're gonna get to see the different application types for the maybe the different types of RCDs. We know moving forward, we're gonna stop using the AC type RCDs, maybe moving on to A type, maybe B type for an electrical vehicle installation, for instance. Can we bring the camera in and have a look at? Yeah, let's, it up? let's have a go, yeah. Amazing, yeah. Right, now we've brought the camera in, Lee. Can you show us how we're gonna set up the RCD test for the different types of RCDs? Yeah, absolutely, you can see, um, on the MFT, it's uh, colour coordinated, and yep. on here we have a yellow section, which is our RCD testing. Yeah. Now all we've got to do is quite simply turn it around. So if we turn it around to one times i, and um, we'll put it on to thirty. Okay. So we're now at thirty milliamps. In order to change the the function for your RCD testing, if you can see just at the very bottom down there, we have a, a little symbol. So Marcus Lee has just set up the Mega MFT onto the AC waveform, so in other words for AC type RCDs. Can you tell us what sort of loads that that RCD will protect? Yeah, so the type AC RCDs, they're generally going to protect things without any electronic components. These can be such things as immersion heaters, electric showers, resistive heating elements such as an oven hob and tungsten and halogen lighting. Brilliant, Marcus. So we're talking about things that don't require DC. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If I press on, form. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I press this button on the side here, press and hold it, that's now changed it. So Marcus, Lee has quickly changed over to the A-type RCD symbol, and we can clearly see the top of the symbol is the AC waveform, yeah. and we've got a new symbol at the bottom. Can you tell me the protection that this RCD is offering me? Yeah, so with the AC waveform at the top of the symbol, it clearly shows that's going to cover everything that the type AC covers. Okay, that we just discussed, yeah. Yeah, and the symbol on the bottom now is showing us a pulsating DC that it's going to protect against. This could be things like induction hobs with electronic components, lighting controls, you know, things like dimmer switches with the LED drivers in, appliances, especially new washing machines is a big one. And as well, moving forward, electrical vehicle charging, where any smooth DC fault current is less than six milliamps. But I would always advise check the manufacturer's instructions to see what they would recommend to install. And we're seeing as the 18th edition develops that the AC RCD is really being phased out for domestic dwellings. However, as you quite rightly said, we should check the manufacturer's instructions when installing something that may have pulsating DC in it. Hager, Wilex, Crabtree, and people like that are starting to insert a-type RCDs within their dual RCD boards, and that's something we're seeing more and more now. We've done A, AC, okay. we press it again, and then what we will get is we'll get AC selective, and then we'll get A selective. And, and the, the selective is in regards to the time delayed RCD. Absolutely, maybe, yeah. spot on, yeah, time cool. delayed. And then we press and hold it again, and then what we will get is our type B. As oh, you already said in the intro, type B is for that uh, situation where you may come across electric vehicle charges, yeah, yeah. where you need to have um, a DC. PV, things yeah, like that, yeah. Absolutely. So Lee's just shown us how to set the Mega MFT tester up to test for B-type RCDs. What sort of protection do they offer, Marcus? So they're going to protect us against all the loads that a Type AC would protect us against, and all the loads that a Type A would protect us against. And then they move forward onto things like solar PV, electrical vehicle charging, where the smooth DC fault current is greater than six milliamps this time. So these B-type RCDs, Marcus, are almost like the Rolls Royce of RCDs. Yeah, definitely. And as always, Gaz, we need to be checking the manufacturer's instructions to see exactly what their recommendations are for the type of RCD to be used. Thank you, Marcus. You said earlier in the video that maybe there's a little gem behind the scenes. Can yeah, we have a look in, at that maybe? absolutely. And, and it's, it's really quite simple to get to. What we need to do is take this doll here, turn it around to the little spanner, which is our settings. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, by pressing the side button here, our uh, tab button, we keep going through until we find, it does take a little bit of a while, but what we'll get to is, there we go. RAS. Now basically what that is, there's yeah. a little setting where we can change that to RCD auto start. Oh okay. So simply by saving the button like that, we've now got the MFT set up 
so it will do an auto start on an RCD, similar to what it's got with the loop test. Yeah. The moment you put the leads when on, you probe the plug on, on straight yeah. into the first test. Amazing. So when you plug in, let's say, to a socket outlet for your RCD test, you can have it set to auto maybe, and yeah. you can walk straight off to the board and. Yeah. Well, we've got the auto uh, setting as well for yeah. for doing auto RCDs oh, okay, as well. Yeah. So it's all set up there. Uh, interestingly enough, if you have a look in the manual, if you go onto the Mega website, you can download the manual and it's got all the settings for oh, this as well. Oh, great. Well, thanks for coming in, Lee, and showing us that. Now we can clearly see how easy it is to change between the different type of RCDs we're going to come across in industry moving forward with, like Lee said, the electrical vehicle charging points. So we can go from an AC, change it to a Type A quite easily, change Absolutely. it to a Type B quite easily, depending on the application. Um, that little hidden gem was nice for the auto start on the RCD. Yeah, and it looks like a great tester. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.